Kilauea Volcano Update for Wednesday, October 15th. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, Episode 35 in the ongoing summit eruption is expected to continue between October 17 and 21st. The ongoing eruption at the summit of Kilauea Volcano remains paused, with the next episode of lava flows expected to begin toward the end of this week. Scientists at the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory estimate episode 35 will likely begin between October 17th and 21st. Seismic tremors indicate that gas piston events are continuing within the vent, but are more irregular than in recent days, geologists have noted in recent days. Magma is near the surface, as evidenced by the glow seen at the north and south vents overnight. On Sunday night, brief plumes were observed from both the south and north vents. Halemaumau remains quiet this morning, with passive gas plumes rising from the north and south vents. Glowing was observed at both the north and south vents last night, with glowing at the south vent being largely continuous starting around 10 p.m. on October 14th. Continuous seismic harmonic tremor began around noon on October 14th. The UWD tilt meter indicates continued inflation tilt, and as of this morning, the tilt meter has recorded a total of approximately 20.6 microradians since episode 34 ended. The inflation rate since Sunday, October 12th, has been lower than usual, at less than one microradian per day. Episode 34 occurred over approximately six hours on October 1st and included lava fountains from both the north and south vents. Lava fountains reached approximately 1,300 feet, and both the north and south vents produced lava flows that covered much of the western portion of Halamaumau. Episode 34 was preceded by several days of preliminary activity with over 120 gas piston events producing small, sporadic spatter fountains up to 10 feet high and numerous short lava outbursts from the north vent. The deflation gradient at UWD was approximately 26 microradians during episode 34 with an estimated volume of approximately 12 million cubic yards of lava erupted overnight. The dual eruptions also produced a record combined diffusion rate of 500 cubic yards per second, approximately double the maximum eruption rate measured during the previous episode. Seismicity and ground deformation remain very low in the East Rift Zone and Southwest Rift Zone, with no significant earthquake activity in the past 24 hours outside the summit. 
sulfur dioxide emissions from the East Rift Zone remain below detection limits. The continued steady inflation gradient after the end of episode 34, coupled with a period of intense light, indicates that the Summit Magma Reservoir is repressurizing and will likely lead to another lava eruption episode. The variable light from both vents last night and the continued thermals indicate that magma is at high levels in both vents. The open nature of the southern vent suggests that it will likely continue to play a significant role in future eruptions after its dramatic return in episode 34. Inflation models continue to indicate that the start of episode 35 will likely occur between October 17th and 22, with the most likely date being between October 18th and 20th. The current eruption is characterized by episodic lava outflows not seen in any eruption since the episodic outflows at the beginning of the 1983-1986 Pu'u'u'u'u eruption. Fountains and lava flows have erupted from two vents in Halima'uma'u crater, which we refer to as the northern and southern vents. Each previous lava outflow episode lasted from a few hours to more than a week and was accompanied by strong deflation in the summit region. The intervals between lava outflow episodes are characterized by a direct transition from deflation to inflation as the magma chamber refills and repressurizes. Lava flow episodes have occurred approximately once a week since the start of the current eruption on December 23, 2024. HVO continues to monitor Kilauea closely and is in contact with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and the Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency regarding the eruption danger. 